okay it's such a beautiful day a beautiful moment uh, as we have seen uh, we have a new guest here and uh, we expect a lot from you yeah. your name please okay my name is lisa doris mm -hmm. andrew uh, i'm in form four at lola high school wow i'm 16 years old 16 years old and 18 <laughs> right yeah i am form four lisa doris yes uh, you are guest today. Yeah. We expect a lot from you. Well, I volunteer in a lot of non-government organization or government organization as we met at youth uh, yeah, forum. Youth forum, yeah. Yes. They are in city, yeah. So it, I have always been a, a girl who is very confident, who always wants to make change. I've always questioned my teachers if I think a decision is not right. Yes. <laughs> of course, they, would, uh, they didn't like that about me, but I can't keep quiet. Even the some beating you. Of course, sometimes I get a bit tough. It's okay. We learn. All right. But they help me uh, uh, give my points in a, a respective manner. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't know that before, but now I do. I really appreciate it, appreciate that from right. them. Yeah. But I've always been that way. Always wanting to make change, mm -hmm. and I always thought that I didn't have the platform or the opportunity to do that. Yeah. So as I went on, when we were in from two, uh, twenty twenty. Mm. And one Form day, two. yes, my God, <laughs> yeah, my teacher came. Where you got the courage? I guess some things are just in mourn, and I have a very supportive mom. Yeah, I, can, I could say that yeah, right. she like pushes me and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So in 2020, mm -hmm. one day my teacher came in and was like, "There is a UN project. UN they are looking yeah. for young people from 15 going downwards to 10 years old." Mm -hmm and whoever wants to volunteer just come outside right now and people are just quiet staring and me and my friend we just stood they didn't care what my friends would think mm -hmm. because that's what most, most teenager fear yeah. i just stood up and went outside and we they came to us they gave us the idea of the project and we did it was a video uh, explaining about covid and what the government could do what faith could help out with and mm -hmm. that was like a door opener for me mm -hmm. from there on i started getting experience getting new uh yeah. say opportunities because uh, the u.n organization mm -hmm. kept calling for me like oh. we where we have a meeting call lisa they will wow. come we have another meeting about an education mm -hmm. we want your views so that kept on coming and it's still on then, yes, I saw uh, a poster yes. about Plan International. It's a non-government organization. Mm -hmm. It's very mm -hmm. wide and for Tanzania, it's Plan Tanzania. Yes. And it, it asked for us to apply. Of course, I did not understand what that poster said, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They just wanted, if you're passionate about leadership and gender equality, then mm -hmm. apply for this and this. So I didn't understand it quite well, but I said, you know what? You, you, just you did it. Yes, I just applied. My mom is always like, you're applying for this and you're going because this is very important. She starts explaining. Sometimes I find it annoying, but later yeah. on I came to realize that it's not. She's really trying to help me out. So if a parent could do such a thing to a child to help them grow, mm -hmm. to, help, to open up doors for them, that would be very helpful. And from all the projects that I've done, all the volunteer work I've done, mm -hmm. it gave me confidence because through plan, mm -hmm. I got a chance to be a CEO for a week. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> <single> imagine. <laughs> and I was just 15 being uh, yeah. a CEO at a company in power. Oh. Yeah. So from there, I got to learn leadership skills, how to work with people, yeah, how cool. to have fun while working because that wow. office is just amazing. And they did a video we did an interview there mm -hmm. and it went on to uh, youtube when wow. you go to youtube and you write my name lisa doris and i just pop up there pop. wow that's it was an amazing experience so, only 16 years girl. <laughs> yeah but one thing i think i should really appreciate mm. yeah, is sure. the school i'm in mm -hmm. because all these opportunities sometimes you have to do interviews in the middle of the day wow. school hours but they understand that the master went after seeing my un videos mm -hmm. he was so impressed and was like you're a very smart young lady mm -hmm. and i kept on showing more videos of what i do oh. trying to inspire my fellow friends of course i use my instagram for that too so he was very impressed so whenever whenever i would need mm -hmm. uh, to do an interview or a workshop through zoom through whatsoever i could just go and ask for their help and they would be right there Okay, so academically, doesn't affect you? 
I mean, uh, on uh, hope you have a number of subjects. Of course. Are you taking science or what? Science. Science. Oh, seems to be complicated much more. But yeah. how do you manage? Of course, managing that is quite mm. difficult sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yes, because sometimes you see there's an opportunity, but you have an exam or upcoming exam, so you have to just like back out. Of course, it's difficult. Approximately, the number of. Uh, of course, maybe if uh, you have been called by any organization, talking to anything, have you ever ignored anything from them? No, no. Of course, I would explain, and most organizations understand. Ah, okay. Yeah, like currently I'm working with Tujibebe as mm -hmm. a um, youth advisory panel. I'm in a youth advisory panel. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm the youngest. Yeah, sure. I, of course, in many organizations I've gone to, I'm the youngest there. All oh, right, sure. Yeah, so they understand that gladly. So when it comes to my studies and my mm -hmm. other work, of course, my mom emphasizing on that, even mm -hmm. the school, mm -hmm. perform well, you get whatever you want. So you All have right. to keep up your grades, you have to keep So up. whatever you do, make sure your performance doesn't drop. All right. Okay. You have to either maintain or increase. It's always like that. To maintain or to increase. increase. Yeah. Okay, that is the reason. <laughs> yeah, of course, you have to. Mm -hmm. so okay, since, to when, since, when, since when you, uh, you started uh, the things you are doing, until now do you see any kind of improvement from for your in your life i mean yes definitely because right now i'm opened up to more opportunity i've met a lot of people mm -hmm. that i think i wouldn't have met like uh, the tujibebe youth panel members wow. very potential people and one of them is the founder of girls of africa wow. and the kidiana mm -hmm. factory too so yeah, sure. they are very amazing people mm -hmm. And I've met them not in only one organization, others too. So I've met quite, quite a lot of people. And every time people are impressed with what I, I have accomplished yes. and what I've been trying to do. So I'm like an inspiration. Mm -hmm. One, there's this one time, mm -hmm. uh, my headmaster, it was closing assembly mm -hmm. uh, for last year, 2021. Yeah, sure. And out of a bloom, mm -hmm. uh, he was like, I would like to call a very special young lady. Yeah. Mr. Doris came up here. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And I went up there. Can you just tell the school what you've been doing? Okay. I was nervous, of course, mm -hmm. shaking. But no, I did not break. So I just went there. I was like, mm -hmm. hello, headmaster and everyone. Then I started explaining what I've been doing all this time. And it was an inspiration to my fellow classmates. And I was really impressed to see. Like, that's when I actually realized that, oh, I've done something. People were like, how did you do it? How did you get into this? So I have become an inspiration for my fellow youth, for my fellow classmates. They're like, oh, Lisa, she's the manager, okay, you know. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You are a fellow student, right? Yes. When it comes to a matter for choosing or decision, yes. uh, are you selective to friends? Or you take all of them to be your friend, then you you are just selecting the, the, the ideas. I have to take this or I have I shouldn't take this or are you selective it means that she's my friend she's not supposing to be my friend or no for me I, I don't know how I don't know why but I have never been able to hate someone I okay. can't and I just can't or gets angry if I'm angry if I'm angry beyond I, I mean uh, 10 okay. minutes right excluding mm -hmm. someone it doesn't mean that you hate no I'm trying right. to explain that all part. right I'm getting okay. to that okay. so for me, I cannot get angry for more than 10 minutes mm -hmm. or even five. I don't have that record. I just don't know how to. Wow. Because I, I think I've been taught to self-care, self-love, that mm -hmm. getting angry just destroys you. And for the friends I have, mm -hmm. of course, they're those friends you keep very close mm -hmm. and they're friends. So I've, what I've decided to do was, of course, not everyone will be much for you mm -hmm. as like a match as a friend you know some people could be a bad influence mm -hmm. or anything of that sort so what i do is everyone is my friend mm -hmm. but not everyone is very that that's very close mm -hmm. i try to talk to everyone i try to inspire everyone in my class despite anything in also in my school mm -hmm. doesn't matter what you do i just i don't care what people say you are i don't care what people well the way you act okay. as long as you're a good person that's all that matters okay most of the uh, girls of your age uh they need uh, a parental care thinking that they are not capable to handle those challenges of your age 
I mean that uh, a number of challenges happen in your age. But how do you manage your, your own, for your own? Is it for your own? Or? Because we all need parental care. Yeah, sure. And I do have my mother for that. She guides me throughout everything. But some things, you know, as you grow up, as you meet a lot of people, you just gain awareness. Like, I can't do this because of this. I can't do this because my mom told me not to do this. Or I can't no. do this because I'm supposing not to do this. I can't do this because I have been told about the effects. So she just like suggests, like she advises me. Mm -hmm. My mother, she's not a very commanding person. So we understand each other. She's like my best friend. Mm -hmm. We just talk. She's just very friendly to me. So that it's easy for me to even open up to her. Like I can go, mom, this happened and this happened. And she'll be like, sorry that happened. But I think you should do something like this. Sometimes, of course, I don't agree because I think she doesn't understand. Like. She's not my age, but still, mm -hmm. what she says has some valid truth to it. So I try to get that, although sometimes, to be honest, I'm like, I don't agree with that. She she tries, of course. She's my mom. I wow. think parents should do that too. Are you confident to tell your mom everything about you? Uh, not everything. Not everything. Most of this. Most of it. Yeah, okay, right. Of course, there's That's that good. little privacy a, a human has. Okay. Yes. Okay, sure. Okay, uh, there are some watching right now. Yeah. Maybe it's their first time to see you, but they have to know, they have to understand a lot from you. What would you like to advise uh, your fair use? Uh, of course, uh, you are about uh, 16 years old. Yes. Uh, 16 years old, very, 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 very young. Right, so there are some your fellows are watching right now yeah what you do to, like to advise them or do you like just to tell them yeah in this time what i would like for them to i would like to tell them mm -hmm. is volunteering if an opportunity comes just go for it okay just for example as for me i apply for different things i just came from a workshop called like a girl i didn't even think i could get in because they require a lot of things like have you ever uh called before do you know this i said no i was no. really honest yeah, with sure. it mm -hmm. and they took me in and now i know how to we made a website yesterday wow. so it was very uh, very helpful so if an opportunity comes just go for it just as long as the requirements they want is there, mm -hmm. go for it. Don't, no questions asked. Because through that, I've gone to a lot of meetings mm -hmm. that as a kid, of course, I wouldn't go. Wow. Uh, yeah, I got to go to Coca-Cola <laughs> for a meeting and I sat yeah. on the big chair oh, yeah, as the managing sure. partner or something. So mm -hmm. it gives out opportunity. For me, that first uh, time my teacher asked, mm -hmm. is there any volunteer? That moment I stood up and went outside that door. It's just like I opened up that door and I opened up the door of my life because yeah. right now I'm getting more knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm opened up to more opportunities. The moment you take one thing, you find more people. You find something else, something else, something else. And don't be afraid to speak up. Mm -hmm. If you think something you can speak up, speak up. Just remember to be respectful while doing so, mm -hmm. while respecting other okay. person's opinion. Cut this. Remember to be respectful. Okay. Yes, of course you have Not to only to speak, is it? Yes. All right. So, uh, as you said before, your mom became very responsible to ensure that you grow in such a way that she like, even the society like. Mm. Okay? Uh, what do you like to say those parents who are watching right now? Well, so, I like to tell yes, you. The parents. Yeah, of course, the yeah, parents. Sure. Um, respectively. Yeah, respectively. Yes. Remember? have this respective brain <laughs> you're talking to your parents of course uh yeah. once we are talking to parents we have to be respective brain. of course even for your fellow youths yeah. who are watching right now they have they to be have respective, to be respect brain. okay so we have to be very respective that has to be very clear mm -hmm. so even if you're talking to an adult mm -hmm. and you think they are wrong mm -hmm. you think what they're saying is not true of course it might not you might be right mm -hmm. and they are wrong but you still have to be respectful they are all older than you, older than you, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to be respectful. So while you're presenting your ideas, you have to understand that fact. 
So your ideas may be right, but the way you, you present, present them, them, yes, it has okay. to be respectful. If it is not respectful, do you think it can nobody, affect? Yes, nobody would listen to you because they will say like, this kid is res- disrespectful. Why should I listen to this? Okay, so it means the attention to reason, even the respect can give it yes, back. Yes, you have to be confident, Okay. but also grounded. Because if you, you start speaking and laughing all over, <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. so people will lose respect to you. Like, you might be talking something very important, but nobody would listen. Okay. Yeah, I've learned that the that hard way, of important. course. Uh, if there's an opportunity, help out your kids. Because sometimes my mom helps me not only spiritually or mm-hmm. morally or anything else, also financially. Mm-hmm. Like, I have to go to places. She'll be like, here's the money you can go. She just makes sure of my security. That's okay. all. So parents give, if there's an opportunity, help your kids get that. If there's an opportunity, uh, help them uh, be that person. Because before, I didn't have a phone, so I used my mom's phone. She was yes. she, she was very open with it. Like, you can keep someone's number. You can use it to talk to people. Okay. So you can help out that way. You might not have a lot of money or not having that financial help. But you could still help someone uh, morally, spiritually. Like, you can do this. Sometimes we do doubt ourselves. But right. having that help helps you, like, have that confidence. Because sometimes you feel like down when you go for a competition and then you don't succeed. You're not like, mm, how am I supposed to do this? But you have that support, like, you can do this next time. So it keeps you going. So for parents, that would be very, very important. I have I have to juggle my academic. I have to make sure the projects that I'm doing mm. go smoothly. So I don't have that much time. Mm. So because if I'm not into this workshop, I'm into something else. So I'm like workshop, workshop, workshop. I'm just packed. Yeah. yeah even my aunt just came and she was like, "This is a holiday, Lisa. You're not at home." I'm like, "Yeah. This is the only time where I have that." very big freedom to go out and try new stuff. I went to Tanzania Youth Forum. Mm-hmm. I went to Code Like a Girl. Oh, now I'm here. Mm-hmm. So I still have a lot of things I could be doing. So yeah, like next week, um, I was invited to a show to sing. Okay, let's take it as a funny, but mm-hmm. uh, not a funny. Of course, <laughs> let's take it as a dream. Okay. Uh, it can come true or not. Okay. What if uh, you get a chance to meet um, the Honorable Mama Sabia Suruhasan? Yes. What would you like to tell her? Well, of course, I do have some uh, few things that I think she could change. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some things that I don't think they're running smoothly yet they should. Mm-hmm. So I would like to advise her on some of those things too, if I could. And I did try to DM her once. There was Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. So there was this issue about uh, these vendors mm-hmm. before even they started removing them from the roads. It yes. was something else back then. Mm-hmm. And my mom was just talking to me and we were watching the news. And I saw maybe I, I had my own way of solving the problem yes. rather than the way the government did. So I thought hmm, maybe I could try and share my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, so I tried to like DM her. I wrote like a big essay. <laughs> it went all like down. Yeah, but I don't I don't know if she saw it or not. Mm-hmm. But either way, I did feel good writing that because I expressed what I wanted to say. Uh, so which what, phone? You you are using your mom's phone or I, I DM'd her through my Instagram. Your Instagram? Yes. Do you think uh uh, you are the way you are doing all, all of those things. That confident. Where does it come? A president. Well, I, I, I don't know what people think, ah. but I, I just have this view that everyone at certain point we are all on the line. At certain point we are all oh, okay. somewhere here, the level. So I just like okay, fine. I really want to express this mm-hmm. and if there's something wrong and if I don't speak about it, it will kill me, I swear. I try keeping quiet because there was a time like I would say something and my teachers, one of my teachers would be like, you're not supposed to say this, you're not mm-hmm. this. I was just like, okay, fine, now I won't say anything. I won't say anything. Yeah, because I was this close to giving up on everything. I was just like, I'm going to be quiet now. Mm. Because if I say something, I'll get beaten up or anything of that sort. So I decided to keep quiet. Yeah. But 
something happened and I kept quiet about it and it kept killing me like why didn't I say something so that disturbed me for almost two weeks mm-hmm. I, at some point I was like I can't do this All I right. just had to speak up and when yeah. I did I did feel good of course I didn't get the negative part okay, uh, right but then. I was expecting it and I was ready for it this mm-hmm. time so I came there fully packed when they brought up the questions I was like I have this answer I have this answer. So at some point, they learn how to understand me. And I'm glad that I spoke up. Because if I didn't, then I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Wow. Such an amazing topic. Very interesting. Of course, uh, I would like just to invite you next time for more conversation. I would, love, conversation. To. All I right. would so, love to. So keep enjoying watching Busakero Line TV. I am your host, Paul Mokyusa. Remember to hit the bell button to be notified on every post that we use to post. Eh? And uh, remember to comment at the same time uh, uh, to the subscribe there. Yeah, and Don't you forget. Can... And uh, how about you? Uh, would you like just to tell the someone who is watching right now mm. about your social account? Oh, don't yeah, you have it? I do. You have? Yes. Right. Mention okay. them. So I'm mostly on Instagram. You can okay. just come to my account, Lisa Doris. Dot. Mm-hmm. Andrew, so uh, Lisa Doris dot Lisa Doris dot dot Andrew. Andrew, all Andrew. right. Yes, and there you can find some of my projects to have mm-hmm. done. Of course, as for me, I don't find while doing these projects, yeah. I also have fun. So I show you the fun side of all my projects mm-hmm. and the serious parts. <laughs> so let's say yeah, I sure. went to Tanzania mm-hmm. with my friends. Yeah, I posted. Uh, us while we were in the room getting all the training and when we were outside having fun all so right. I, I do that all right. so you're interested for youth for anyone who wants to and also right now i'm working at Yibebe, so okay. you're welcome to follow them too because they provide very good things for youth for everyone it's very right. very important our instagram account eh? about facebook Facebook, not yet. Not yet, but, but you expect. Now, yes. How soon. about the website? Hope I heard about this website. Uh, no, the website it was something from called Like a Girl. Okay. They, they taught us how to. Mm-hmm. So now we had to come up with an idea, mm-hmm. and at the same time make a website of that idea, like it's our company or something. Mm-hmm. So we chose AFS, which was Agriculture and Food Supplies, wow. and we made a website mm-hmm. and we had presentation yesterday. So it was very a very good experience because we learned presentation skills. We taught we were taught how to make um, the website. Mm-hmm. I was so proud of myself. If I showed some of my friends taking computer, like yes. I made a website, they're like, "No, you didn't." No. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. So it's All a very right. good experience. Just find me on Instagram, mm-hmm. Lisa Doris dot Andrew. Only Instagram. Yep. Yes, Lisa Doris dot Andrew. Yes. See you. Ciao.